Hi ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, of course, I want to remind you again of the importance of being involved in these organizations that are trying to expose, investigate, and prosecute pedophile networks in our country and throughout the world. If there ever was a war where you don't have to worry about conscientious objection, this is it. So please remember Navy SEAL Craig Sawyer's website, vetsforchildrescue.org. And here's some other artistic examples of what he is trying to do to get people aware of what's going on here. I think these show his commitment to what's going on. So I hope you can get behind him. And also there's this website here, which I've talked about before as well, opdeepstate.com. Both of these are very important, uh, very easy to get involved with, and I hope you go and take a look and get involved in this most worthwhile of causes. Thank you. I'm Roy Potter, a former U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel. Welcome to the Potter Expositor. Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's April 15th, 2017 and I just want to say again uh, in addition to the information I put at the beginning of the video and I'll have this information from Craig Sawyer, uh, vets for childrescue.org and from opdeepstate.com for some time either at the beginning, middle or end of my videos but I wanted to show you this meme here that Craig Sawyer just came out with. That meme says it all. It shows the establishment, the mainstream media, sitting on all of this information about child torture, pedophilia, child trafficking, sex trafficking, human trafficking, organ farming, all of that, and what they try to get us to focus on so that they can push the agenda of the deep state and the New World Order and the military industrial complex, complex etc the takeover of Western civilization by uh, an incompatible culture. These types of things. So uh, I think that meme says a lot and I wanted to show, you, show it to you because Craig Sawyer, what he's doing really is making a dent in this. And hopefully with the help of certain government agencies or members of those government agencies that are starting to get on board, they'll be able to go after these very very wicked evil people. Having said that you might wonder why I called this video Pompous Pompeo. Well it really comes down to the fact that and, and I sent out a tweet earlier as a matter of fact let me show you the tweet Let, let's start out doing this let me show you a tweet that President Trump made last year about WikiLeaks. Okay, and here is the tweet that I sent out to Roger Stone uh, after he talked about this. Okay, so what am I getting at? I thought Pompeo was put in there to help Trump's agenda, which is to take away the deep state and to reinstitute a Republican uh, government in our nation. In other words, to return to a, a, a constitutional republic. Well, Pompeo seems to be having a problem here. And I'm not sure if it's because of Trump not being in, in command and control, uh, being oblivious to what's going on, or complicit as I accuse him of. And, and I know I do that, but it's just again to hold his feet to the fire. You know, just show us what you're made of, Trump. You got to hold your people people's feet to the fire as we're trying to hold yours to the fire. So Pompeo comes out and says WikiLeaks is, let me get the quote exactly right, he calls it a hostile intel service. <laughs> Journalism is supposed to be hostile to the government. And we've had it backwards for too long where the, the MSM has been used as a tool of propaganda for the government. It's supposed to be hostile. It's supposed to be adversarial. That was the point of the First Amendment and the freedom of the press to make sure the government is held accountable. Pompeo, you just showed you don't get it. 
<laughs> he really did. This is amazing to me. So what brought all this about? Okay, well, of course WikiLeaks came out, and it started talking about Hillary, of course, and her, her creating ISIS, and that they were her, her uh, not her adversaries, but, but their allies. Okay. Also, the whole thing with the, the CIA losing its, its, its tools and that information getting out there so that people can hack computers using the CIA's own tools that they lost. Okay. So that's kind of where all this is com coming from. And on top of that, Roger Stone was talking about this situation where he's still being accused of this Russian collusion. And, and this is what and this is what Ro, uh, Roger Stone says. Roger Stone says that that Pompeo, the CIA director, has no proof that WikiLeaks is a Russian asset because, of course, Pompeo said that to call WikiLeaks a a, a hostile uh, 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 intel service. Um, but of course, where this goes back to are all the accusations against Roger uh, Stone uh, at all, uh, even. President Trump and all of us who were trying to stand up against this Leviathan in the in the deep state. So at any rate, Roger Stone says that, and and it's absolutely true. What is Pompeo doing? So you know, here's another indication of these problems that are going on. Uh, who's trying to seize power? I wish we could get people from Trump into these positions that will not backstab him and backstab the American people and the Constitutional Republic of the United States. Obviously Pompeo has given himself over, maybe he always did, to these these rogues, these these deep state operatives and these intel people that have no interest in the Constitutional Republic of the United States at all. So at any rate, that's what I thought was very important about that. Actually, Roger Stone went on and he said that uh, Pompeo has been brainwashed by the spooks and he should resign. Amen. Amen, Roger Stone. Amen. Okay, uh, some other real quick information. Uh, of course, North Korea has apparently backed down. Uh, and, and again, like I said, that's, that's Trump's problem. This, this is the real problem for the world, this whole thing here. Uh, however, he got China, again, I, I think that he probably gave some things there according to the Davos Agreement that the Chinese made. But that's, compared to nuclear war, we're, we're well ahead of the game here right now. So this right now, I'm not saying it's totally diffused. We're going to have to watch this. This isn't going to go away, but the immediate threat has, has subsided a little bit. Don't forget that North Korea most certainly has special forces, operatives, etc. in the United States, in Japan, okay, in those types of places, and they can, they can do a lot of damage. So we're just going to have to see what's going on. As a matter of fact, there was a, 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 an ammunition installation in Missouri that apparently had an explosion here a few days ago. Uh, very likely could have been either ISIS or or North Korea. I don't have all the information on it, but it's just the type of thing that could happen. Of course, chemical releases, you know, those types of things. So at any rate, this for right now, yeah, we can kind of relax a little bit. Not too much, but, but a little bit. But now, you know, we've got to go back to thinking about this thing in Afghanistan. And now I'm going to attack the CIA again. A lot of people are concerned that, that Trump dropped this mother of all bombs onto the uh, cave complex there in Afghanistan. And, I, and I, I want to tell it to you from my point of view. I'm not waving the American flag here. I'm telling you what, what the deal is. Don't forget that the CIA created ISIS al-Qaeda, okay? And that this entire cave complex there in Afghanistan was funded and, and maybe even helped to be built physically by the, by the CIA because Osama bin Laden has his own company but anyway that's a whole other story the point is is that this cave complex was CIA originated I hope you understand that okay then you have these ISIS fighters who also have been promoted by the New World Order by the Deep State by Hillary Clinton by Obama by the CIA etc etc 
So Trump says he's going to go after ISIS, which is a creation, again, of our, Easter, our Western intelligence agencies, primarily in the United States, right? So the DOD and Trump drop a bomb, get the picture of this, drop this mega bomb on this cave complex. I think it's symbolic. I think that's like basically blowing up the CIA, you know, showing, you know, your program is through. It's over with. We're not playing this game anymore. This was a positive sign to me. Now, a lot of people say, well, it only killed 36 ISIS fighters. You know, what's the big deal? The big deal is that it wasn't, it wasn't dropped on a populated area. It was dropped on a CIA complex, former CIA complex, well, still is, really. 36 fighters. Oh, was it worth it? A million per fighter? The propaganda power of this psychological warfare is immense. Not just against ISIS, but against its funder, its armor, its trainer, the CIA, the New World Order, the Deep State. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I have to go along with that one. As much as I dislike the bombs and the, and the killing of people in these countries that are really, they're, they're just living in caves. From, I mean, they have no way to fight the United States. We keep losing the wars because we're supposed to. But we shouldn't have ever started that war in 2002 anyway. 2001, really. Uh, if you read the PNAC, you'll understand what was going on there. Uh, it really is time. I mean, <laughs> clean up the mess, yes. Trump needs to do that. But, but we really don't need any more wars. And that's why we need to stay out of Syria. We don't need to go in there despite what McMaster's and Mattis wants. We don't need that. We don't have to have it. And I, I hope Trump sticks to his guns. That's absolutely important to do that. So a few positive things today. Uh, I'll give you a little insight into into the the basic machinations of what's going on, and I will throw my hat in the ring with Roger Stone here, saying, Pompeo, you need to resign. You just need to give it up, and let's get somebody in there who will go along with the anti deep state, anti interventionist, anti CIA program. <laughs>